Hey guys, it's Kenny, and it's gonna be another Maple video. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about like what I'm doing because I'm just gonna go through every FM and just like look through shops and stuff. But uh, I want to talk about something different today. Uh, this morning I was watching TV and I saw uh, some some of the replays on ESPN of like some of the basketball games, and I was watching the um, the Knicks. The Knicks replay when they played San Antonio, I think. Um, and I was watching Jeremy Lin, and I and I thought to myself, like, you know, Jeremy Lin's story is really, it, it's really inspiring to some people, because uh, what he's what he's done and what he's like been through, basically. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's basically the New York Knicks point guard right now. They're they're starting point guard, and he's one of he he's all right. He knows how to play the game. And he knows his fundamentals, and he can score. So that's basically it. Um. So, basically, I wanted to share some of my thoughts, like with you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys would like this kind of video, but whatever. Um, basically, what who Jeremy Lin is? Um, he was drafted by Golden State, like two years ago or something like that. Yeah, he was drafted by Golden State like two years ago. Um, and he only played like two minutes, like every week. So imagine that. You're sitting on a bench for the whole week and you only play like two minutes. And that's your job. Well, that's a pretty dang job. You're getting paid like $500,000 for that. For sitting, I'll do that. But in NBA, like you want to play, right? Out of, out of the millions of people, they choose like, well, like a hundred people to be on their team and you sit so that kind of like that's a motivation killer but it's whatever um, so anyway he was he was drafted by Golden State and he'll play like two minutes a week I've I've seen him play in college um, and he, he's not bad he, he knows his fundamentals again he knows how to dribble he knows how to pass he knows how to read the defense and stuff like that but um, recently like this year he was dropped by the Golden State Warriors <clears throat> because they didn't have any room for him anymore. And he was picked up again by Houston Rockets. But again, they didn't have room for him because the roster was already full. So they dropped him. So basically, like in Jeremy, Jeremy Lin's mind, it's like, oh man, I'm not going to have a job. I'm not going to be playing anymore for in the NBA. Like, what am I going to do? And he, um, he, did, he didn't have a home because he kept traveling. He didn't know like where he was going to stay, like what team he was going to stay in. So basically, he was crashing like his brother's house or any relatives that was close by. Some of the teammates' house. He went up to some of them. Was like, "Hey, man, can I stay here for a night?" And Tom and Kirsty, they most of them, I think, actually all of them said, "Yeah," because why not? And uh, but this year, um, he was picked up by the New York Knicks because some of uh, the Knicks players they got hurt. Um, like two, one of the players got hurt and then the other guy he uh, had like family problems so he couldn't play he wasn't in he wasn't in New York he was like somewhere else I think Florida or something but anyway um, basically when you get picked up and you get to only play like for X amount of games the coach is gonna tell you don't shoot the ball they're gonna tell you pass to this guy and let him do everything just give him the ball right you're the point guard but I want you to pass to him every single time because if you're going to be playing for like two games maybe they don't they want you to do like the best they want you to do what the coach is telling you because if you don't do what the coach is telling you you're not going to play again right it's like obeying orders but basically what Jeremy Lin did he didn't do that he he scored like 22 points or something like that and um like like five assists or something like that it was amazing it was like Oh my God! Like who? Who the heck is this guy? He comes. He comes like undrafted, picked up, like randomly because players were hurt, and he does this. So the NBA is like, okay, it's probably a fluke, right? They played one of the, not they played one of the worst teams in the NBA. Like it was a fluke, right? Anyone can do that. So they gave him another shot. New York Knicks gave him another shot. Like okay, you did this. Like let's see if you can do it again. And he did it again, but he did it even better. He scored like 30 points and like 8 assists or something like that. And then everyone's like, oh man, he might be 
the new he might be the new thing um like I don't know it was pretty crazy uh he's one of the better point guards out there because uh I don't know it's just he can he knows how to read the defense pretty well and he has I don't know he can he can shoot pretty well <laughs> considering all the other point guards um and but basically what I'm trying to say is like his it's not his his playing that's amazing it's his story like where he came from and like his his background basically he was born in the, he was born in California he was born like right next to um what was it like Sacramento I think and uh he was raised in um in a very religious house so he was he thanked God for like everything right and he still does even now and uh basically what he teaches you or teaches us is that if you work hard enough you'll get the reward you deserve is basically like what his story is like he's very humble he thanks he thanks like god for everything that he has right now and he teaches us like to never give up which is true because out of like all the NBA or all the players that want to be in the NBA I'd say like what, like two one percent or two percent actually go into the NBA and he was chosen so basically you know just like never give up and uh, I don't know I, I find his story pretty it's pretty inspiring to me but a lot of people don't think it's very inspiring but if you if you think about it from a different perspective like from a what is it um like a working hard person kind of perspective like you work hard like every single day and you think about the story i i guess you would say this is pretty inspiring because i don't know he he worked so hard and uh he he was a drop by like two teams and he didn't know where he was going to live he didn't know like where he was going to what he was going to do if he didn't get if he didn't get a play again and i don't know he just stuck with it he prayed hope for the best and look where he is now he's one of the he led the Knicks to an eight-game winning streak, which is pretty good. Now they're in a playoff hunt. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say, really. Just leave a comment down below if you guys, if you guys know like about Jeremy Lin and stuff. Do you think his story is pretty inspiring? Like what all he's been through, how humble he is, like his worth ethics. Do you think he's pretty inspiring? Yeah, that's all I have to say. Remember, this is all my opinion, so if you're going to bash on me, it's not really going to prove anything because it's an opinion. So, that's it. Um, yeah, the FM is pretty dead today, as you can see. I like to sit right here because it scares um, Kevin's. He thinks that I'm going to take his spot, but I'm just sitting here, man, because they can't see me. Um, but yeah, yesterday I merged a lot, as you can see. I have like over a bill. Um, and I got that over in like a week span. Um, because yesterday when the server came back up, it was like, I was the only one merching out there, outside in the FM. And it was amazing. I bought so many, like, advanced enhancements. Like, I bought them, I bought like 20 or 30 or something like that for like 7 mil each, 7 to 10 mil each, and I resold them for like 25 mil. I didn't think you were going to sell for 25. I was like, you know what? I haven't seen any AFM. I'm going to put it up for 25. Why not? And they all sold. And I also bought an Evo ring. I don't have it up because it's in my my storage because I can't reset my shop when you have two of the same Evo rings. It's stupid. But I bought it for like 60 mil. I put it up for 110 last night. It didn't sell. So I put it up for 100. If that doesn't sell, I put it up for like like 80 is it like the lowest but I'm pretty sure 100 will sell because that's like the average price um but I'd say a lot of my merching a lot of you guys are asking like oh how do you like how do you how do you merch basically is the number one question we get actually no the number one question we get is what world we're in and we're in Galley, Galicia um and I don't like to spam outside because it's really boring I like to go through the shops like this, but whenever I find something really cheap, 
Um, I always triple check it. I always like exit, go back in, make sure it's, <laughs> the numbers are right and stuff. But <clears throat> I, I like to shop merch, I guess you can say. But yeah, that, that's basically it. There's nothing in the FM today. Um, <clears throat> I'll try to merch like. What time is it? It's 11:30 in the afternoon. I'll try to merch like maybe at five <clears throat> when everyone's like on, basically. Um. But yeah, the server's stable, so I don't see anyone complaining about, like, lag or anything. But, um, oh, and another thing about everyone saying, like, oh, Corsair's boats always lags. It's actually you that's lagging. Um, if you're on for, like, more than two hours, you need, and I go in my boat, and, the, and you're lagging, that means you need to relog. Not, like, not, like, exit game, but you need to completely restart Maple. Um, because I don't know, I guess like the graphics card is just like, you know what, it's been two hours, I don't want to deal with this boat, I'm just going to stop working. I don't know, that's basically how it goes. But if you are lagging, you need to completely restart Maple. And um, yeah, that's basically it. When I had a Chaos Zack uh, with Alex and another guy, uh, Alex was lagging when I, when I was on my boat, it's like crap, so I was just like rapid firing all day. And it was, it sucked. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say, really. Alright, this video is pretty long. I was rambling, I'm still going on, so. Leave a comment again if you think Jeremy Lin's story is pretty inspiring to you and or what you think. Remember, it's your opinion, it's not a fact. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. I think me and Alex have a... I guess you can say quote Minecraft surprise video that's coming up oh, or series I mean um, I don't think I want to say it yet because he hasn't technically found it yet but it, it's coming so just a heads up for that and I will see you guys later